The figure shows a part of the circuit current of 12 mA exists in a 5 kilo ohm resistor. So the current flowing through this resistor is 12 mA. Let's say I1 current goes up here. So the remaining current that is 12 minus I1 will go through 10 kilo ohm resistance. And again the both the current will add up over here. So we get 12 mA current back in 100 kilo ohm resistor. So we have to calculate the current in the 20 kilo ohm and 10 kilo ohm now. So obviously that the potential difference between 20 kilo ohm and 10 kilo ohm will be same as the both are in parallel combination. So I1 into 20 kilo ohm is equal to 12 minus I1 into 10 kilo ohm. That is kilo ohm. So we have 2 I1 is equal to 12 minus I1. So I1 comes out to be 4 milliampere and so that is the current through 20 kilo ohm resistance and current through 10 kilo ohm can be calculated by 12 minus 4 that is 8 milliampere this is the current through 10 kilo ohm and obviously that both of them will be add up to give the current and 100 kilo ohm resistance. So we have it as 12 milliampere. To calculate the potential difference between the point A and B, we apply the Kirchhoff law. So VA starting from the point A, we have VA minus 5 into 10 to the power 3 into current 12 milliampere into 10 to the power minus 3 minus 20 kilo ohm into 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 milliampere current minus 100 kilo ohm that is 10 to the power 3 into current is again 12 into 10 to the power minus 3 that gives us the potential at B so VA minus VB gives me 1340 volts that is the answer